So we are still in the preliminaries. And the game started. Let me know if the pool sound is, is okay like this. So this is the group uh, number eight. I mean, the group eight is Amager, Piranhas, and uh, Singapore. A ver. ¿Qué están pasando? Bueno, tienen las chicas de eh, Dinamarca, están tratando de eh, generar el ataque. Vamos a ver si pueden defender bien eh, y alejar, bueno, sacar el balón del área. Están jugando con siete chicas, las chicas de Dinamarca nada más. So we have four of the Danish girls under the basket. So I guess they're trying to score right there from the beginning to surprise the Spanish team, but uh, they have been doing a good job defending so far. Let's outside. see, I think was, see, outside, the ball was outside this, this the game area. So it's a free throw for Denmark. Uh, what I did, okay. A ver. They are defending, being in position at least. Let's see if they can keep the defend. The defending of, of now we have the attacker right on top of the goalie and is attacking the head and they are still uh, trying to get the goalie up and we have one of the uh, four checkers of Piranhas trying to get rid of the ball but she's I mean it's one Danish against two uh, wide ones and she just pushed against the wall and that's actually not allowed and I'm not no, I'm not sure a ah, penalty okay so you know the signs of the referee. If the yeah, but before they saw, no, I didn't no, no, see no. there. The referee ho was holding. I didn't showing, see that because showing, I was paying attention on the basket. Showing as an advantage was that they not were executed, and then they start uh, to uh, make the penalty. So holding on the on the wall, most probably. So timeout uh, blue at the moment. Uh, we have one minute. So, Tenemos it's a question uh, the, 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 the which team uh, will win, the team with uh, more experience or the team. Uh, and of course, uh, we, we're looking for statistics and uh, how many girls play. But sometimes it's better to play with seven yeah, motivated good yes. girls. Or experience, yeah. Uh, uh, then yeah. With, uh, that's that's true. The thing is, uh, Spain is still growing as a team. Monse from Piranhas has sent us uh, some information saying that in the past they have they were coming to the Champions Cup. Oh yeah. what, what shall we do next time to the World Championship with twelve players? What do you think? Why <laughs> should we? We need to, we can take every advantage we can. If we can take eighteen, I will take eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm I'm here to create new ideas for the <laughs> national team as well. <laughs> to create like like Manuel, there is always suggesting new rules. You're also coming with more ideas for us. Good. I come with come. ideas. I go with ideas. The problem is I have to deal with girls. And nobody knows if uh, really they adapt my ideas. <laughs> That's my biggest challenge. I know. I, I trust you. <laughs> yes, you know. <laughs> you need a manual for us. Yeah, yeah. Eh, Thank sí, you. el sonido está bien. Thank you. Eh, tenemos el penalty. Y a ver quién está defendiendo, chicos. Es el número... Es el número nueve o número seis. Eh, creo que uh, es way smart. nueve, uh, parecería. The goalkeeper don't know what to do. The a ver, tenemos a la chica de... Oh, la oh, 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 oh. A ver, está... Es ¿Qué pasó? Holding without the ball, así que parece que atajó el penalti. Porque eh, the, the Danish girl was still holding the goalie without the ball. Puede ser que hubiera sido no, Laura Vallejo. The penalty will be done again. So the defender was uh, holding without the ball. The the offense was quite smart, getting under the goalkeeper, stayed there and uh, did not move at all. And the goalkeeper started moving, so they start to attack. 
But a typical mistake, uh, they were watching for the hole and then shoot. So yeah. normally you make the hole yeah, and shoot. Yeah, shoot, correct, without waiting. Ah, but uh, if you see the hole, you can see how quick the goal, uh, the hole will be closed. And yeah. that is what yeah. and you uh, basically don't like. It's the same like a goalkeeper checking his own goal and watching in his goal and it's empty. Yeah. Then you and can then see yeah, the ball going in. Correct. Yep. Tenemos una repetición. It seems I have some knowledge about this sport. Un poquito. <laughs> and this defense is much more... Oh! oh, oh cool. wow, this pena. defense Casi was la much saca. more aggressive. So not only waiting on the surface uh, was a good uh, defense attempt. Then the, the mm. try to score on the side of the goal. It looks uh, almost done, but rebounds to the... Uh, on the offense ring. player mm -hmm. on the rebound from the ring again in the hand of the offense player and then finally can score. Eh, no so pude it's ver five quién minutes era, sí. in the first Cinco. half, ah, okay. 23 seconds uh, penalty. penalty time for the, the Piranhas and it seems <laughs> the referee doing something, the time is clocking, the penalty is going down. Sí. A ver, eh, tenemos todavía un poco de time penalty, 8 segundos quedan porque la primera portera cometió una infracción, se alejó de la portería sin estar en posesión de la pelota, entonces se repitió el penal, la segunda chica no pudo ver qué número era, así que no lo pudo atajar, la danesa pudo meter el, el balón casi por atrás, re rebotó y luego en la segunda vez lo pudo meter entre el cuello y la cabeza, el espacio que quedó ahí. Así que continuamos con el partido, quedan 4 minutos. Eh, y las chicas de eh, Dinamarca vienen dominando el partido. A ver si Pirane se puede recuperar. Todavía tiene todo el segundo eh, tiempo y cuatro minutos. A you ver. Are watching the Champions Cup 2018 in Berlin. 30 years Champions Cup history with 15 male teams all over the world. 12 female teams and you're just watching... Uh, Amanga from Denmark against Piranhas from Spain. Uh, Denmark is leading with 1-0 oh. with the penalty, 2-0. Number two from Denmark scored. It was a great, great attack. Number two is uh, Pernil Jensen from Denmark. Just scored the second goal. And uh, 2-0 para las chicas de Dinamarca. Y um, a ver si pueden recuperar las chicas de Piranhas. You know, they, they let us know, Monse sent the information that for a, for a while there, the Piranhas almost got dissolved. There was a lot of people that left the city. They are in Valladolid, in Spain. And um, now, they, they since, uh, uh, since a while, they start rebuilding the team. And they have a lot of newcomers. So this year they could come to the Champions Cup and, uh, well, to continue with the learning process. I appreciate all the new teams uh, which is uh, coming to the Champions Cup and uh, takes experience and to grow the sport uh, on the international level. Uh, it's always, uh, I think it's hard uh, if you have a club team you have to motivate uh, the girls to come to training every time uh, there's family, there's uh, something around, their kids. Uh, so, and uh, if you don't uh, win and you don't have to too much competition, it's difficult. Okay. Against penalty. penalty yep. Against uh, the See. Piranhas. So the, the defense... Uh, uh, are so under pressure that they are uh, doing, fouls. Def def doing the foul on yep. the goal. So this is something which referees is easy to identify. So that is. Uh, Estamos viendo que han causado otro penalty a través de la presión del ataque. Entonces quiero ver quién. A ver, tenemos todavía. Bueno, puedo ver cuánto tiempo nos queda. Pero a ver qué portera van a mandar ahora para eh, frenar el, el penalti. Las, las danesas tienen mucha experiencia atacando y en los penaltis también. 
let's see if we can see the number of the the number three sure. let me check so the defender goes uh, Irene goes down from the goal which makes that very wow. easy <laughs> wow it the ball is really pushed hard what's the number Looks five like, like put into the goal like like it's stuck there no? yeah, stuck <laughs> there and there something like that it was high push pressure yeah it's Quattro stuck uh, between the screw York, I have a question for you. You know, there have been a discussion, and we have always had the discussion almost every year that sometimes we have a big difference between two teams. You have the more experience, and you, of course, can predict that that team is going to win. And there's, you know, the people that think that we should do, like, two leagues. There's the people that think that all the teams uh, need to have a chance to win uh, the Champions Cup. Do you have any opinion on that, or you rather <laughs> keep outside this kind of discussions, <laughs> which is also a possibility? No comment is also a possibility. Uh, if you ask me to give me no comment, I give a comment. <laughs> 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 I always say, don't a don't ask me question if you don't like the answer. A championship, it's uh, there's always a, a team who wins and the rest of losers. Uh, so to make uh, two two leagues or something like that, we're doing sport. We are doing competitive sport. Uh, we want to find the best club team in the world for males and females. Why you want to separate that? Exactly. Uh, if a, if a team comes from uh, Australia and or they uh, know Singapore, Singapore, and they know they will most probably not win. Yeah. But they're coming. Yeah, exactly. They want to experience this. And yeah. uh, based on my own experience, if you want to be in competitive sport, and then if you love the sport and you want to go better, you want to play against the best team. Yeah, correct. Look at soccer. Yeah. If you see uh, the, 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 the German trophy, uh, which uh, small teams have chance to get, uh, play against Bundesliga teams, yeah like uh, Bayern Munich or something like that, they are so satisfied yeah. and plans the yeah. big one. Yeah, that, that, is, that is so experienced and this is the motivation exactly. that some of the big teams who only want to win against the best teams and whatever, yeah. yes, there are some, some people I would say they are so arrogant that I want to be only the best ones. Yeah, the problem is, I'm, I'm exactly, I mean, I agree with you 100%. Oh, <laughs> hey, know, hey, 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 <laughs> can someone make a note? Please, uh, is there someone outside in the world to make a note? And Lorena uh, agrees <laughs> me 100%. I have to make a that note. Is a in general, it's the next uh, <laughs> national coach, uh, the next training camp, and I can say Lorena agrees 100%. What, ever happened to you? Never. No, <laughs> he has to pay but for that. <laughs> No, and I'm exactly agree with you. And I uh, and the the weaker teams, they all say that they learn a lot from this competition, from these matches that maybe they lose for a high score, but still they they are in loving the the, the opportunity to participate in this uh, amazing. Uh, uh if someone of the best teams don't want to go, let yeah. them stay home. Because the problem also is we still, I mean, it maybe are four or five teams that are the same, equal in in, in, in um, abilities, and the rest. Then, if we would have, I don't know, 100 teams, okay. But we still have, a, uh, we have to build up the sport more to get to the point where we could do two categories. To my point of view, we still are too few teams that can participate to make that, that separation. Look, look at the uh, Champions League and Euro League and something. Nobody cares Euro yeah. League. It's just to make another money uh, in the big uh, soccer business to have other trophy. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. basically. It's not comparable. I think this uh, tournament uh, become uh, so big, so great, so international, so professional. Uh, when I consider the, the first uh, Champions Cup or that time Master Cup, I knowing we were doing photocopies for the uh, uh, advertisement and delivering to small shops around the city to attract people 
now we have a worldwide live stream uh, commentator group and uh, experienced people here and uh, I actually I'm so proud uh, of the work uh, Lorena Wolf Winnie his team it's amazing oh, and we see the fifth goal of the Anger uh, Aman how does it pronounce this Danish team? Amaga. Amaga. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, I mean, you're asking an Argentinian, but you know, <laughs> let's hope. <laughs> no, I, I, I learned you who you are Italian. Yeah, two, and <laughs> both. And, and both. both. <laughs> you okay. are, you're in hybrid. I, yeah, I am. I'm, a, I'm the best of both nationalities. <laughs> <laughs> now it's a good question. Definition, what's the best... Uh, attitude of Italian and the uh, best the attitude. The passion and the love for stuff. Okay. <laughs> let's see that it's not uh, something which the worldwide audience want to hear maybe. Yeah, exactly. Let's Whoa, uh, this is 6-0. Six. Six, uh, let's see. The attack becoming more. Yeah, that was the number two hard. again. So now you see uh, the Danish team mm, now, you know, normally this happens when we have um, a, li a little bit of a difference, uh, one team being stronger than the other. Eventually, in the second half, the last minutes of the second half, then there become a little bit more uh, difficult for the, the team that has been mostly attacked, and normally they get some scores. Can you oh, we get just uh, some um, opinions on, some the, on opinion the subject. about uh, uh, the way uh, the you see oh now I get the support Amra it's a uh, it's a real Copenhagen slang so I learned some Danish uh, slang uh, Christine gives a uh, um, want to be the highest league uh, highest level of the Champions League uh, I think uh, if you want to play the, the against only best teams, uh, we are here playing only the national champion. Maybe in Germany, the number one to two are, are uh, uh, belonging to the best teams in Europe. Maybe in Norway, it's number one to number three. In Finland, maybe number uh, So there yeah. are more teams uh, which are playing high level uh, in that, uh, so I think uh, it's if there's no no one against uh, to be open to make a special tournament or do a different tournament uh, where you make just uh, invitation. Oh, great goal from well, the top! Yeah, but they have the Euroleague for that, right? I mean, they can pay. Yeah, for Euroleague, the best of course, uh, it's a different, but. If you want to play against best team, then do a tournament. Rent, 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 rent a pool, invite uh, the, the, the top guys uh, out, out of each country, see if they want to come. Uh, it's not, I think, uh, it's uh, the obligation or the destiny of the Champions Cup. The Champions Cup was once designed that only the, the uh, top of each country is uh, is coming and if you then you decide only the quality of a team it's not more the idea of a champions cup so you and you're talking you know because you also belong from the club uh, this this book that was the one that created the master cup by yeah. back in the day when, when we had we started the master cup and uh, we we invited just camp uh, teams where we thought these are the best teams uh, in europe and the uh, second day at the time we, we uh, did the Master Cup, we did not participate because we considered we are not one of the best team uh, in Europe at that time. So <laughs> if you want to bring such team together and you have the same attitude, I think the, the World Rugby community would 100% uh, appreciate. Mm. But uh, just to organize and sitting here making commentators, bringing all that is uh, doing this uh, thing surrounding for organizing and you don't uh, play by yourself, that has to have a, a certain 
attitude and motivation. And love for it's easy to yeah. say from outside, you have to do this and this and this. Um, basically, the Champions Cup is uh, the cup for the champions. For the champions. That is uh, at that time. So maybe you can find uh, something like that. Uh, I think there's a there's a lot of opportunities yeah. to to. Let's see. <laughs> a ver, we have uh, the Danish team attacking again, and we are coming for the next score. A ver, chicos de España que es un poquito que no hablo. Eh, las chicas de Dinamarca están atacando, están fijas en la portería de las chicas de Peñafiel y lamentablemente esto pasa que cuando hay diferencia así de, de, de experiencia eh, en los equipos, eh, normalmente se puede aguantar el primer tiempo, pero ya el segundo se empieza a complicar porque el desgaste físico, el desgaste mental de estar siendo atacada constantemente realmente eh, se empieza a sentir en los huesos. Entonces, bueno, las chicas de Peñafiel están haciendo un trabajo excelente, están ahí, siguen bajando. Pero bueno, las chicas de Dinamarca tienen mucha experiencia, hace también muchos años que vienen y bueno, o sea, están haciendo su trabajo y a ver si pueden... ¡Wow! Se wow. acaba de perder ese gol. <risa> Muy bien, a ver, creo que esa es Monse que está tratando de sacar eh, el balón de ahí. A ver. That was a good save. That, that was not a save. <risa> that was not a save. That sometimes you don't have you don't have well, luck. And the basket at that was time playing with the Spanish team. <laughs> yeah, in Germany we say sometimes you don't have luck and then you're still unlucky. Outside the the, 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 the line, so it will be free flow for the Amma. Now I try to pronounce it right. A ver, es three minutes uh, until the end of this game and seven zero for Piranhas and uh, remember the Piranhas have been rebuilding the team since uh, this last year and so they have a lot of new people and new participants that are gaining an experience right here. Yeah, but you see they're not more in physical con con condition to uh, de defeat I is think he saw the shoulder, sorry. Uh, yeah, a goal, okay, goal. yeah. But you could see there was only one goalkeeper against yeah, uh, the three, three, or two, three, yeah. Yeah, three black girls. Now Wolf tried to make some pictures <laughs> from outside. <laughs> two minutes, two minutes, 45 faltan para que termine esta partida. 8 a 0 para las chicas de Dinamarca. Yo sé que las piranhas están. Eh, reconstruyendo el equipo mm, de nuevo y hay mucha gente nueva y bueno 8 a 0 está muy bien normalmente en el pasado España perdía 15 a 0 contra equipos de esta de esta característica now you see the physical conditions there's no defender goal so it's number nine a ver the question would be if uh, Spain can manage to keep it for one digit that would be maybe who cares well, you know, at this level, when you know you are fighting against a stronger team, then you try to keep the score as lower. That's the kind of, you know, they're still there. Then, they you, then you have not to only have a goalkeeper, you have to also bring a defender under I the know. water. I know, uh, yeah, and, so and a four checker, both. Yeah, we, we are just talking about the defender. Huh? So at the moment, they are not able to have at least two girls under the water to defend the goal. So it will be getting harder, the physical condition, the piranhas is not more there in the second uh, half. Now they try to defend, but the Danish team is controlling the ball. 1 minute 20 seconds. Let's see. Um, vamos a ver si las chicas de Pirania pueden aguantar este minutito que les queda y que queden el, el, uh, menos de 10 goles que quede con 9, eso sería una, un muy buen resultado para las chicas, pero bueno, igual están haciendo un juego muy bueno, están bajando a veces les falta un poco la defensora pero bueno, es normal, están aprendiendo son nuevas, tenemos a la Go chica de 10, 10, 0 uh, I 
believe was the number 90. A ver. I believe was the number 90 um, of the uh, Amagia team. Yes, I think that was Lila. Lila List, also one of the top players of Denmark. Bueno, 10 0 para Dinamarca y quedan los últimos 30 segundos del segundo tiempo. Pero las chicas de Pirania, la verdad que han hecho un trabajo fantástico. Eh, sé que están de nuevo, o sea, han perdido jugadoras y durante un tiempo no han podido realmente, eh, bueno, entrenar y, y crecer como equipo. Y desde el tiempo hasta aparte eh, han comenzado de nuevo. Así que a ver si pueden aguantar. Quedan nueve segundos. A ver que aguanten ese yeah, gol. Bueno, excellent, <laughs> una pena. Goal 11 a 0. It was excellent right. counter attack. It was the number 90 again. It's 11 0 final standing uh, again. Ama and uh, Piranhas. Uh, congratulations to the Danish uh, team. Played with seven ladies against the Piranhas. So, good result. And uh, Lorraine and me, I did not sleep so, so well. I uh, slept five like hours. Look at my eyes. I mean, I have bags. Yeah, but you have some pain to, to control makeup, the yeah, makeup. Yeah, but still, it's not working. I Look at this. Maybe <laughs> I, I always claim that uh, the camera gives a, a bad view, something like that. So maybe we can do some color change or some color motivation that we get better time. In real life, it looks much better, I guess, I have to it's say. It's the camera, it's the camera. <laughs> that way, they make us look older, look at the wrinkles. Yeah, the, the, the transfer. But in live stream, you look much better than uh, on the, the, the thing what we see here on yeah. the screen. <laughs> okay, ¿Quién viene? A that were for ladies' Ooh, games. Orcas and Turkey. I mean, Colombia against Turkey. Colombia, están preparados para entrar los chicos. Turkey, are you all ready? The fan club. Yeah, Vamos that's, a ver. that's a, the, the, the tough games of the men will start. Yep. Did you watch the game of uh, Norway and I mean Akaren and Orcas yesterday? You have the no, opportunity. No it was a I very fast game, 4-0 for Orcas, and uh, they, it was such really an amazing fast game. Uh, I it was so much bubble from the paddling uh, of of because it was so fast on the goal and the defenders were paddling like crazy. The Orcas were paddling like crazy. You couldn't see almost from the bubbles. Really, I'm not kidding you. It was like the speed of the light. <laughs> so let's see what the Turkish team has to offer. Let me see. We have um, four groups for the male teams. And here we are in the... Now, okay, now we are crossing the groups, okay? Orcas was number one, let me see in the group D and the Turkish team was number two in the group C. They we we, we we finished with the preliminaries and so now we are crossing the groups. So now Orgas against the Turkish team, they haven't played before. Group D, the number one uh, is the Orgas in the group C Bamberg uh, is first position and group B Flipper is first and the group A Riksu, the Finnish team is the one. And we're going to start crossing now the top Right. So that means the quarterfinal. That means the quarterfinal. Thank you for the translation. <laughs> no, 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 no problem. But it's mentioned on I your schedule. I was missing the. <laughs> I was missing the. the no problem. The, the, the big uh, <laughs> <laughs> Quarterfinal. So that means you <laughs> have, have to, you have to yeah. see who's the winner. Huh? Yeah. The quarterfinals. So that means if the winner goes to the semifinal, did I get it right? Oh, I'm horrible. I mean, I it, every time I know it's quite like simple, but still, uh, until I get it straight in my head, and when I'm tired, it takes longer. <laughs> you see that my problem as a coach with Lorena, yeah. when I try <laughs> no to explain <laughs> to <her> something <laughs> until it goes into her head, and that when she understands that, that then it's, it's perfect, great. But, it yeah, takes no, no. It. but then we have to transfer it in action. So we have two problems. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.